Hello everyone and welcome back to Stoneheart. Finally, I apologize for the long delay between videos. Unfortunately, it has been quite a hectic couple of weeks for me and I have been unable to record anything. And so the only thing that's been going up is the batch recording of Republic Commando I did a while back. Now, in the previous episode, we did a bunch of things to the town, and uh, as you can see, my frame rate is absolutely gone. I mean, I'm presently getting 8, 8 frames per second, and I think that that is an artifact of uh, the CPU, not the graphics card, because I've turned down the graphics to basically nil, and uh, that's not doing much for us. So, if any of you have any pro tips for me about how to get some more, um, you know, CPU performance out of this, as you can see, I have not updated the game to the latest branch, I am keeping it uh, low, just as worried about save breaking. But uh, yeah, now we're now getting 5 frames per second. So I'm hoping that once these uh, fires go off, that will uh, improve it slightly, but I don't know that it will. Um, regardless, the... yeah, it's a bit of a problem. So um, this episode will be recorded as is, but uh, it's quite difficult to watch, as I'm sure you can imagine. We now have 27 halflings, which is a lot for the CPU to render, and I think all of these little buildings are uh, proving to be quite problematic. So we're going to go into our building design, and as you can see, we have six more little houses to go, and I've gone ahead and placed the Temple of Raya upon this great town, uh, upon this great mountain, rather, which is exactly where we wanted to build it, and we'll probably build some ziggurat-style steps uh, leading up to this beautiful monolith. But uh, until then, uh, you know, we're not going to build it, because, um, yeah, the game's quite upset with me with regards to these things. So I'm hoping that um, if we were to drop the buildings... And, oh, and the frame rate just tanks through the floor if I um, change the view. There we go. Now it's because now it has to load in all the little objects as well, which it does not like doing. So yes, we are we are experiencing some frame losses. Let's check the daily update. Oh, and we're just shy on net worth, but that's okay. Once we have some of our buildings going up, that will be fixed, no problem. Also, everybody now sleeps in comfy beds, which means that the mood overall for our town is improving dramatically. Uh, Zinnia here. For example, she's she's pretty content, you know, but she's definitely leading more that way. Uh, oh, we had a town member die, that's quite right. Uh, here, our trapper was trapped, Kelvin Levis, and he has passed away. So we should actually go ahead and um, place him in the funerary home that we have designated for such things. Which is, I need to go up a bit, up a couple slices. Oh no, that was it, that was the right one. There we go, okay, Kelvin, we're going to have to place you... Here in our, oh, in our honorary hall with the amphitheater so people can come and view your, your sacrifice. And we, we do appreciate what you did for us, Kelvin. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, for your, your loss has been felt by all. Now, I wonder if x-ray might be a bit better. Uh, yeah, you know, actually, we gained four frames per second doing that, and we just lost them. <laughs> yeah, so the game the game is struggling at present to um, make full uh, sense of what is this what of what it is trying to render. So uh, if anyone has any advice, please let me know down in the comments to improve CPU performance. Otherwise, we can just call this playthrough here and start another one in the future at, the, at a future update when the game is more stable. Regardless, now we are getting nice levels everywhere, which is great, but we need to do some fighting. I really would like to engage in great combat. Oh, and here's another... Oh, well, we, we, we can um, attack these here ghosts because uh, I accidentally killed them off camera before. I think I showed that as like a side clip in one of the other episodes, but it's not as fun, you know. So let's go ahead and designate all of our people to do some murdering. I believe I have taken them off their jobs just to, yes, just to free them up uh, for other tasks like hauling and things because, uh, oh, God knows we are shy on manpower at present. We have quite a large military. Military. Okay, here we go. Everybody's running over. As you can see, we have two knights. They all have silver mail at present, I believe, um, which is really helping their defense, and they've got silver helms. Ah, uh, oh, jeez, here we go. Let's zoom out. Oh, look at that glorious uh, seven frames per second combat. You don't get this anywhere else but a PC, guys. Let me tell you right now. Console, eat your heart out. This archer is presently shooting at a stone wall because, you know, that is a very effective method of defeating enemies. Uh, it's, you know, firing at stone ones specifically with wooden arrows. It is a tried and trusted method. Oh, what have we got here? Is that a brazier? It is a brazier. Let's place the brazier um, somewhere ostentatious just to represent our glory and our gloating. I think we're going to stick it... I'm going to put it in the most obnoxious place possible to make their lives very difficult. We're going to put the brazier right here, right in the corner. 
Uh, not exactly obnoxious, but it'll just it'll just cut that extra frame. You know, we want six frames, not seven. Seven is for for you know for big guys or big shots. People who think they're a lot, but they're really not. So yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure really what to do. I mean, this frame rate is crippling. Uh. Yeah. In fact, actually, this first video to go up in a while may in fact be a update on the current state of the game. I've been looking at other playthroughs of this, um, Conflict Nerd Dylan, I believe is his, uh, the way you would say his channel name, has been doing a playthrough on Stonehearth Alpha 21, and it's, it's really fun, but he isn't experiencing these frame losses, and I'm not sure why I am, to be perfectly honest. I have an i7, I have, uh, I'm using OBS Studio, and I was trying to use NVIDIA Shadowplay, and I'm not getting any improvement there. Um, so I'm really not sure what the issue is. If you guys think that perhaps updating to the latest version, I think it's 707, Steam said, uh, would do the trick, then we can do that. But I have presently forced the game to stick at 702, just to prevent save damage. Um, yeah. But at present, Alpha 21 is as glitchy and unoptimized as I feared it might be. So, what are we gonna do this episode to uh, alleviate our strain? Well, we could designate the Engineer's Workshop for Construction. That God knows that that's uh, definitely on the list. Um, that'll add some wealth to our settlement, which we're definitely in need of. So, in fact, actually, yes. Let's click go. And as you can see, the CPU is taking a while to plan it out. Not great. This is definitely a CPU issue. Uh, give me a second, actually. Let me check my performance. No, no, we are good. I am currently clocking 46% CPU usage, which really isn't that high. Um, at all, actually. I mean, the, it's not even doing half the work. So I'm not sure where these frame losses are coming from. This is absolutely bizarre. I will need some alternative advice, please, if anyone has to give it. Why don't we... Well, you know, enough, enough complaining, right? You guys aren't here for me to complain. You're here to see me kill off my halflings in dramatic and unimpressive fashions, right? That's what you're here for. Now, the building is still kind of broken in the game, so we can't take the roof off of the structure, but we can add some adornments to it, make it a bit cooler, make it a bit pretty. I mean, this is a temple after all. I know the people of Raya's, you know, of Raya's children are a simple folk, but they don't have to be a simple folk, do they? Now, we could do some curtains. Nah, it doesn't really suit the aesthetic. A decorative vase, that would be cool. What if we were to, uh, let's just put this back up. What if we were to get rid of all of these pots and replace them with decorative vases? I think that, that might please Raya in a way that mere pots never could. So, oh, they're tiny. Well, now I just feel stupid. Well, we can place the decorative vases right here upon the, the four points of entry. Oh, we're, we're auto-saving. Again, also, I have no idea how to turn that off. I have looked everywhere. Uh, I just cannot see it. If you guys know, please let me know, because uh, I'm asking for a lot of help in this one. I'm calling out to my, my, my very small fan base and uh, praising uh, and begging of you that uh, you, you help me out here, because, you know, I am but a simple gamer with simple needs and simple mind and unable to do such complex tasks. Now, what else can we place down? How about a mosaic? A floor tiles? Yes. Yes, let us pimp our temple. Episode 10 of Pimp My Town. Oh, there we go. Gotta get that one there. And then we can place down those boring old storage jars. Or not, because we apparently don't have the option to do so. Oh well, YOLO, right? That looks fine to me. I think it's cool. Maybe a brazier? Yes. There we go. Bring in the potter and the stonemason. Show our progression as a culture. You know, as a civilization, we've moved away from the clay age and uh, reverted, in fact, back to the stone age. Uh, well, not really, but you know what I mean. In fact, we're actually in the, uh, we've gone straight through the bronze age and, and hit the silver age, which isn't really a thing, but we're going to allow it. Um, some of you uh, may be wondering why I've left these small structures down here and not converted this all into farming, and that is simply because this presently houses our um, herder, and that all of our cooking and thing, um, st food storage buildings are right here, which is nice and conveniently placed next to the farm. So it doesn't really make sense to demolish this and, you know, having get them to ship it up. That's just a bit out of the way. Uh, we got plenty to collect off the floor here. Maybe we should uh, place that ladder back down. Oh, and you know what we can do? We can place the gong. 
Yes. Oh, and I see there's a silver, a silver circlet. That is uh, armor for your clerics. A steel circlet. Very cool. But let's place down this here um, ladder so that we have access to the outside world. That means things will attack us again. And we can also go ahead and place down the kobold gong. We'll put it right here on the wall. Uh, that shouldn't be there. We're going to remove it. Can I get somewhere else to put that? Nope, we're just going to remove it. Okie dokes. Let's place down the kobold's gong. Right there. The scout's gong. That's what it's called. And we're going to stick that yeah, right outside the walls. We're going to ring that once. And we should be attacked by an army. And that should be a pretty cool way to, um, you know, sort of wrap up the purpose of this episode. Because really, guys, until I can find a suitable fix for the frame rate, uh, we're not really going to be playing much more. Unless, of course, you are willing to watch it like this. Uh, that would be fine, too. It's just everything's going to take so much longer to do because everything's happening a lot slower now. Um, so, yeah, that's not exactly fun. But if you're enjoying it, then I'm enjoying it. You know, I'm all about you guys. Here comes the gong. Gadong. And let us ring it. How do we ring the gong? Do I perhaps have to place it further away from the wall? If we place it there. Let's try that. How does one ring the gong, actually? I just realized I have no idea. I thought there might be a button for it. Like, you know, ding, and then the gong gets rung. Uh, message. Ooh, here we go. I would like to finish the walls before they finish you. Strike first. Oh, okay, that was probably from a while ago. Uh, Mer Burley lands. Congratulations on order, if that's the sort of thing you care about. I've been up and down the area and it seems you've taken care of the bulk of the goblins around these parts. Not saying you won't see a strike or two come to harass you, but good job all in all. Thank you, Mer. Here's a gift I've collected from some neighboring towns. Oh, what are we going to get? It should appear by our banner, right? Yes, oh, we got some gold, a bed, and some cloth. Oh, that is very much needed. Thank you. Oh. Puny town, bow and tremble. Gah! By order of Ogo Skullbunker, Goblin All Chief to be. Uh, you and all your stuffs now be tribute to Great Glittering Army and the Red Kiln Empire. Uh, Ogo's Bannerman is uh, quite a salty man. Oh, you say something? No matter, we return soon. Collect all your things so it'll be easy for us to move. Now, are our goblins going to reappear? I do not see any goblins. So I'm going to assume no. And they haven't appeared in their usual spots. Alack, alas. No goblins for us today. Ah, it is what it is. Hmm. Okay, well that's getting built pretty decently. Um, we're probably out of clay again. We are always out of clay. It is just, it's perpetual. It is so frustrating. And where are your storage boxes? Yes, we have a clay. No, we have bricks. And no clay. Okay, so we need clay. Unless there's clay in these ones. 30 clay. And just made things. Okay, no. So we need we need clay. But they should be digging clay out of here for me. Slice back down. Uh, yes, they are presently digging out clay. Okay, good. Can we resume this though? It's been resumed. Okay. Oh, oh, I know why our manpower is nil. Because we've taken our soldiers off um, passive duty. Let's go ahead and... There we go. Ding, 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 ding. Everybody's way too busy doing other things to be bothering with this sort of crap. Ah, I hate that it moves the list. Why does it do that? I just don't get it. Oh, I think it's because I'm clicking to the side, maybe? No, it's when I disable it and it just dropped down. That's very odd. Okay, Brian and Edwan. Okay, cool. There we go. Now they should go and help, you know, construct things and stuff. There we go, there we go. They're going to go do some shipping. They'll be help feeding the pogos, doing what they got to do. Here we go, uninstalling. The, ah, and there we, everything's just getting done so much faster now. Isn't that just great? Is this a uh, installed brassiere? It is. Okay, well, we'll, we'll, we'll uninstall that because that'll be useful for the uh, temple. Oh, that is another thing I would love to see in the game, is that when you construct a building, it doesn't automatically um, force you to, you know, build all of the required um, items. I mean, it should check, you know, how many you have in your inventory, and then um, then say, you know, okay, well, what we don't have, we'll build. And if you want to make a stockpile, you can just, you know, maybe select a construct all anyway option or something. How do we ring the scout's gong? Hmm. Let me Google that quickly. I'll be right back. Okay, apparently the gong is in fact not a um, active mechanic, but a passive one. So just by placing it, we have signified to the game master that we're ready to fight. And here we go, a figure with a sibilant voice appears beside your fire. 
Are you afraid, Valiant Town? Ogo's so-called chief will be here soon for you. No way. We're gonna crush him like the buggy is. To borrow strength to rise means to fall when strength fails. Ogo borrows his power not from his so-called seher, but from the babe he stole. Uh, what? Upon this paper you shall find the lullaby to soothe the mountain soul. Find a stolen flute, bid your woodworker pitch it to this melody. Place it in Ogo's great ogre's path, and watch self-important meet its just reward. Sounds good to me. Fight hard, little town, fate is meaningless. But were it not yours, it would be... Your, oh, sorry, but were it not, yours would be to rise. Wait, who are you? Triple question mark figure. I am of the Red Kiln. We would have been your saviors, but your Sid parlayed hard in your stead. So now we watch, and wait for the day your star rises. That sounds ominous. Ooh, okay, well we can make the wind chime, apparently. Let's let's make that. Why the hell not? Uh, carpenter is the saw, right? Yes. Click. And the wind chime is where? Where is the wind chime? There is the wind chime. Mountain's wind chime, and for that we need a broken flute. I imagine that we need to get one of those. I'll cue the order regardless, and hopefully we can get that in time. What do you require, blue market stall? Oh, uh, carpenter of level 6. We hath none such carpenters. Let's actually get rid of these beds, we don't need any more. And we can get our carpenter just crapping out some benches or something. Perhaps some dresses, some wooden dresses. We're gonna make, get him to make uh, 25, because we have 25 pieces of wood. Oh, it requires two? Okay, well, let's go chop down some of our trees. Our much needed trees. And we're gonna just say, gather. There you go, pick up a bunch of them. And I think we actually have some more seedlings to place at our glorious 4-4 four, four frame rate speed. Yes, there we go. Now, I was told if you just click and hold shift... Yes, there we go. You don't have to go and click and place and click and place, which is an absolute nightmare. I'm sorry, the camera's lagged. Oh, no, it's the game freezing again, because it's pausing to save. It is absolutely infuriating. I really want to disable it, and I just have no idea how. I don't use the save feature, really. I, I save when I leave, and that's it. I'm not going to be, you know, reloading saves mid-game. That's, that's a bit... I don't like save. It's what's called save scumming. It's not a f I'm not a fan of it, really. Uh, I, I prefer to play the game straight through one time. Wait a minute, I just saw something there. Was that a broken flute? Where's my place down menu? Do I have a wind chime already? Oh, how fortuitous! I guess we just place this right here for when the Ogo comes. When the Ogo, I say. Look at me, I know games. I know them. I are games great. There we go. Okay, plenty of wood coming in. That's good, that's good. Everyone's coming for some chow time. Let's watch that go down. Ah, oh, look at them. They're just so complacent. Daily updates. Ah, we're still shy of money. Is our engineer's workshop going up anytime soon? It has been building. Come on, zoom out. There we go. No, no, this, this guy, Daniel here is just stuck on the wall. Well, I imagine someone will come save you eventually, Daniel. That uh, doesn't really look like it, to be honest. Is anyone gonna do this? What are you hauling? What are you... Oh, is that wood? Probably wood. No, it's ore. Oh, safe. So they're still holding stuff from underneath. Okay. Come on, please. Can someone come save Daniel? Otherwise, I'm going to have to intervene, and that's just gonna be dramatic. I mean, Dan, you know... Uh, come on, bro. Could you just... You know what? You know what, Daniel? Just for this, just because you're being so goddamn extra, that's gonna be the screenshot for this episode right there. You just partying it up on this mountaintop, thinking you're a cool kid, when actually, Daniel, you know what? You're just, you're just in. The, oh well, that's even more epic. That's, that's what we're going for now. Ah, oh, and he left. A lack of less. Perhaps I can just crop it out of the footage from the game. Anyway. Let's have a look-see here. What have we got? We've got some clay bricks that are inexplicably highlighted and the texture's gone on them. Oh, you may have noticed that the shadows are slightly um, rougher than the, you know, non-shadows that were there before. And that's just because I've turned down the graphic settings in the hope of retrieving a few frames, but we're just not receiving anything, really. Very disappointing. Oh, and they're finally bringing in this loot. I thought that had glitched out. Oh, and there's the broken flute that we may need. So let's, uh, let's designate that for harvest. Oh, uh, wait, no, where do we do this? You go here, right? 
Yes, and then you just click harvest, or, or loot, rather. Yes, we want to loot all of these things, all of the things. Please give it to me all. All of it, all of it. I'll take the wood on the floor there. Very nice, very nice. Ooh, armor. Nice. Uh, yet we have everything. Ooh, I would definitely like some spiky quivers. We'll take two. Thank you very much, sir. And what can we pawn onto you? Oh, we have two. Oh, that's what I just bought. <laughs> and we actually have a spare set of silver and plate mail. Nice. Very nice. So what can we hawk? What are we stashing that we just don't need? Um, the Verana skins we'll keep. Oh, we can sell some of these, but I don't want to just yet. They'll be used in the construction of those structures. Uh, what are we... S oh, well, we got gang wall lamps. I need to sell those. Bye-bye. And, oh, we can definitely sell the... Uh, well, actually, those take forever to make, so I'll leave those as is. Hmm, we can sell these dressers. That's great. I haven't noticed any particular benefits um, for having the dressers and things in the rooms. Like, it doesn't make them any... Oh, oh, finally, violence. Okay, this is going to be a problem, though, so we're going to go pause. Pause, 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 pause. Okay, let's get all of our workers back on their jobs. Click, 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 click. Because otherwise our archers are going to get crushed by the great goblins. Let's take everybody else. Anyone missing? No? Cool. Let us summon our great defenders. Right over here. And you, I need you guys to move my archers right over there. Get away from the damage. From the dablage. Quickly, flee. Because those things will wreck you dead. Oh, and he's down. Never mind. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, no, we're gonna have to get them closer. We may lose a few people to this, actually. This is, this is all on me. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't see it coming. You know, I should have known better, right? Damn it. Okay, who's holding down the fort here? Brian, being the tanky knight that he always is. We've got, a, we've got Jamie running in here with a pike. We have our other pikeman, Devlin, moving in to attack these goblins, these hideous ogres. And I see we have a kobold. Where are they spawning? I will go back to the combat now, guys. My apologies. I just want to see where these kobolds came from. There must be a camp somewhere, right? Is it perhaps off-screen? I'm not seeing their encampment. They're supposed to spawn within sort of reasonable distance of your base, so it's easy to go deal with them. I don't see it. They definitely came from this direction. Hmm, we'll have to go exploring. Okay, one goblin down. One ogre, rather. An ogre bone. Dense and strong. I wonder what you do. No. Okay, well, the placing of the gong has apparently worked because we are now. Out. Oh, so I need you specifically, Reynard, to move closer because he has a healing aura that uh, is uh, most beneficially affected when you are close. Also, we need to get this archer before he bleeds out. Okay, there we go. Well, at least, at least Brian's getting some heals through the grapevine. And these archers aren't too much of a danger. Wow, look at that arrow fly. Ooh, look at those frames, right? Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Is anyone coming to save our poor incapacitated... Uh, who are you? Shay! Oh, poor Shay. She's down and out. Damn. Come on, stab. Just kill them, would you? God of Puyot. Gem Chiser. I, 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 you know, that's, yeah, just forgive the accent, I apologize, I just, I'm just sorry, everyone, for everything, just, oh, finally, yes, we have been needing some archers, yes, range, glorious range, please and thank you, oh, here we go, and here comes Raymond to, uh, nope, nope, oh, the farmer, Jason, Jason is coming to save Shay, uh, what a kindly soul, Raymond just came for the ogre bone, you know, he, He's here to, to, to collect the loot and not worry about things. Okay, I imagine we're finally, we've dealt with the kobolds down here. Very good, we've got some large maces. Actually, I don't know how much, uh... uh giant bone mace for flattening a face. That's great. I don't know where those kobolds came from. They may not have a permanent camp after all, that may be just my imagination, but we are no longer going to have these guys off duty. Uh, things are just going to have to go a bit slower, that's okay. Is there perhaps anyone that, uh, we've got any loose workers? Just a Polyjurus, uh, who is presently chasing Matt Besson for some reason. You know, he just wants to be a mate. Oh, I see. 
they're uh, they're finishing off that structure. Okay, well that's uh, we're at about time, and and as I say that we're hearing goblin warns. At last we come to a place of great shinies. Go forth, my minions. Go forth for Ogo Skull Bonkers glory. And Mountain the Ogre speaks for Ogo the Shinies. Take all the things. It's like a 2007 meme compilation. Let's just move all of our people indoor. Ah, no, wrong button, sorry. We want the green team. Get inside. We want red team. Get inside. I want them to interact with that wind chime, right? That's what we were uh, told needed to happen. They need to move a bit faster than they're presently moving, though. Because I want him to interact with the uh, wind chime. And that should, I imagine, turn him against his present... Uh, his presence in Thraller and help us. That's quite an army of goblins, damn. And they just came off screen. Okay, that's fine. Oh, look at this. They got little um, Ogo's army approaches. Indeed it does. Please get upstairs. Do not aggro on this thing. I will be very upset at you if you do. I need you to get inside the base and not cause me problems. Ogo Skull Bunker? Mountain, why do you stop fighting? Aha! Ogo, you cannot hear the chimes like an old memory. Me no want to fight anymore. Mountain, ridiculous. This is war for shinies. Forward. No, me no want to fight anymore. What about you, little people? If me no feel like fighting, what you do? Let's be friends. Ah, but the shinies. Fine, Mountain, my friend. Me no go where he no go. Your town is safe for now. We return when Khan is well. And Mountain has left us with a gift of two plushy toy rabbits, one decorative teapot, and a Varana skin. Mountain is an ogre of the finer things. You know, he likes to live the luxurious life with little toy plushy rabbits. Thank you, Ogo. Thank you, the Mountain. And, uh, yes, uh, well, your, your, your brother in Game of Thrones is probably one of my least favorite characters. But, you know, that's my little opinion. You, you don't, don't hate me for it. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. I think we're going to call that an episode here. If you have a solution to this frame rate issue, please let me know down in the comments below. If you are okay with watching it in its present state, that's okay too. Also, please let me know, or I will not be recording any more Stonehearth until such time as this issue is either fixed or they release another update and we just stop there. So, if this is not the last episode, I will see you in the next one, and if it is, see you in the next season. Cheers.